Hi, I'm Anna Hellman. Thanks for being here today. Do you love to make treat holders or do you not love to make treat holders because they can take a lot of time and be pretty detailed sometimes? Regardless of which group you fall into, I would love for you to watch along with today's video because I have three of the easiest treat holders you will ever make to share with you today. We will do all three in just a few minutes. And I think you may wanna try these for an upcoming family gathering or holiday or something fun just to share a little happy with someone else. Let me share them with you. In light of the upcoming holidays, I decided to make these treat holders holiday themes. So we'll cover Halloween, fall, Thanksgiving, and Christmas. Now, when you're looking for paper for different occasions, it's pretty easy to be able to find Christmas paper or Halloween paper, you know, for one occasion. But I wanted to show you this pack that I pulled all of my samples from that it covers all of these occasions. It even has fireworks in it. I love this for the 4th of July. So this is called the Celebrate Everything Paper Pack. Comes with, I believe 48 sheets is a huge pack of paper. Now it's not available for purchase, but you can get it free with any order over $150 as hostess rewards. So I just thought I would mention that, that that's where these papers came from. These are the three we'll be using in my samples. And we are going to start with a project you can do for any occasion, but my sample will be for Halloween. Now we are using six by six paper for all of these. So if you have some of those six by six papers in your collection, you just don't know what to do with them. These are some really great examples of how to use some of those up. So what we wanna do first, this first one is going to be an adorable little basket. And what we're gonna do is, this measures six by six, like I said, we wanna score on two inches, score again on four inches, turn this sideways and do the same thing, score at two and score at four. Now we need to get out some scissors and do a little bit of cutting. Now, this one is directional. I, you may want to avoid directional prints on this. You'll see how it turns out. Uh, but I am going to snip from the bottom up on this line and on this line up to that horizontal score line right here and then flip it upside down and do the same thing on what was the top, but then I turned it around. So on opposite sides, I have snipped on those score lines. Now these are not snipped, these are not snipped. Now here's what we're gonna do. We want to loosen up those folds And then this is going to come together very, very quickly. What we're going to do is fold these center flaps up. And then we're going to fold these side flaps. And I'm just going to work on this front one at first. Uh, so I have the center flap folded up. And then I'm bringing these other two flaps in and I'll turn this so you can see a little better. Now you can decide how you want to attach it. If you like to attach it this way, you could actually put the square in front if you prefer it that way. But what we will need is a little bit of adhesive on each of these flaps. Now, if you have a little stapler or if you want to use brads for this, you can totally up to you. But I like to bring this in until the points meet and then just give it a press and that is all held together. So let's do that again on this other side. Want a little bit of this is nice, strong adhesive. This is my seal plus. And then I'm gonna keep all of this loose until I get it where I want it. Then I'll press it all together. So I have my points meeting up here at the top and that flat behind, just press all of that together. And we have the base of a basket. Now I have a piece of one by six paper. This came out of the same design, the stars. I thought it looked cute with this print since it has stars in it. And at this point, if you want to, you can attach this with adhesive or you can use a piercing tool, poke a hole through and actually attach a brad right there as well. Just to keep things simple, I will use some more of my Seal Plus 
And you can attach this on the inside or the outside, whichever one you prefer, just for fun and to keep it easy. Like I said, I'm gonna attach this on the inside just with some seal plus. Okay, so here is a cute little treat holder number one. Let's decorate this really quickly. I've already had some decorations made up. Here's a punch I created with the de decorative circle punch. Here is one I made for a recent video with washi tape and the witch hat builder punch. I am going to attach this really quick. This is vellum. I wanted that print to still show through but I wanted something to make the witch hat stand out and we will just attach this cute witch hat over top. So these baskets are a really fun one you can make up for, they'd be great for showers or wedding favors, party favors, school parties, all kinds of things, okay? So here is treat holder number one. Let's move on to number two. And this one we will do with a fall theme. If you're not big into Halloween, you could do this for Halloween instead or for Thanksgiving, anything throughout the fall. This one is so, so easy. And here's what you're going to do. You are going to take, take it, lay it so that it's at an angle so it looks like a diamond. Fold the bottom point up to the top point. Now we're going to fold one of these side points over towards, fold it up and over so that the top of it is horizontal. Now it may not go all the way over to the side. Actually, it won't go all the way over the side and that's okay. And you can give that a good crease with your bone folder if you want to and then fold this other one over so that it is also horizontal and lines up with the first one that we folded. Now that we have this, you can move on to the next step if you like, but I usually like to put a cute decorative edge on my top corners. You can round it, you can use this punch to make the cute little just trim it off and fold that down. Now, when you're doing this, if you do this, you will pick up on the fact that you wanna pay attention to which print you keep on the outside and which print you keep on the inside. If I had wanted the leaves to be on the outside, watch, I can actually just redo this really quickly the opposite way. If I want the leaves to end up showing inside those flaps, what I want to do is fold the leaves on the inside and then when I end up folding that flap down now the leaves are what you see here okay so this pouch is perfect for Ghirardelli squares here is a York peppermint patty that fits in this really well uh, small treats, tea bags, all kinds of fun things can fit in these. So let's decorate this really quick. Here is, I created this again with that decorative circle punch. This one, I really love this punch. It's the lasting label punch and it goes with the lovely and lasting stamp set. And then I pulled in a greeting from a different stamp set. It was from the Gathered Wheat one, and I wanna make sure I don't have any adhesive laying out over the top there so that I don't attach that shut. We'll attach this tag on top and we will be ready for our next one. These would look really nice on a holiday table, on your plates or sometimes I have a hard time thinking and talking at the same time, uh, plates or as little place cards, table favors, but that is treat holder number two. Now let's move along to the third one. And this one, we can actually make three different treat holders out of one six by six piece of paper. 
What we want to do first is a little bit of scoring. Now I like to do, I like to prepare several of these at once. So I'm gonna score this first and then when we cut, all of them will already be ready. If you're only preparing one, you may want to do your cutting first. We want to line this up at two and seven eighths and make a score line and then three and one eighth and make a score line. If you are using a scoring board, that's gonna be the little line just to the left of the three and just to the right of the three. I know some of these measurements get tricky for some of you out there. But now that I have that, I need this again, and we will trim into two inch sections. So I'll cut at the four, there's a two inch section, cut at two, and I have two more two inch strips. Now I'll set two of these aside and just show you what to do with one of them, and then you can repeat this with the others. You can do one end at a time or you can do both ends together. I will show you both ends together just to save a little bit of time. Uh, if you're making a lot of these, it's nice to have a few time saving tricks. So I can fold these together, line this up right in here in this handy punch and I can punch my hole. We're gonna need that here in a second to tie this together. And then I really like this corner punch right here. I'll give this a punch. And then if I want this to be symmetrical, I actually need to flip the paper over top for bottom and put it back in the same way. If I don't flip it over, it will be just slightly different. But now I have my ends punched and the base of this treat holder is already done. Flip this over so my ornaments are facing up and I'll show you, you can, these are great for Ghirardelli squares. I'm gonna put my York peppermint patty inside here. You may need to flip the little ends around to the back if you like. And actually you can, you can make these any length at all. Uh, as I was demonstrating my other projects with six by six paper, I kept this one fairly small to go along with it, but you can start with longer paper and make these any length you choose. Here is a cute little tag I created. I used the Alpha Best stamp set with the best label punch that goes with it. I just love that and a couple of other punches here. If you're interested in any of the products I'm using, I'll have links in the video description below to all of them. And then we can tie the end shut. Of course, you may want to attach your candy there in the center. I did not attach this at the moment, but Put some twine through and tie it closed. And this is another really quick, easy one. So thanks so much for watching along. I hope this gives you some ideas for treat holders you can mass produce and have plenty of time to create them for special events. And also use up some of your six by six paper in your collection. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're new here. I hope you have a blessed day and I hope you'll be back again next time when I'll be here helping you to hand make with love.